Okay, so once we're ready, we'll start with some introductions, then take it from there, if that's okay. Good afternoon. Can you start by telling us both your names? I'm Julian. I'm Amy. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you both? I'm 24. And Julian, how old are you? I'm 59. In the first part of the documentary, which aired yesterday, it was revealed that the new biotechnology seems to defy the aging process, slowing down cell degeneration to an almost halt. Julian Murphy, aka Patient Zero, claims he is 59 and started the treatment at the age of 33, suggesting that this technology, which was partly developed in the building behind me, has been kept under wraps for almost three decades. Part two of the documentary airs tonight at 9 p.m. About 30, 35 years ago, we had been testing on mice and it seemed to be working temporarily, although really we weren't that close. Then Mr. Murphy came to offer us aid for further research uh, and we needed the money. Of course, back then he was a billionaire and he was very generous with his funding. And we managed to get to the point relatively quickly with the help of AI, where we were able to test on mammals to slow cell degeneration successfully and rapidly within a point of a few years. Eventually, we got to the point where the cells would stop aging completely after three months of starting the treatment. How were you able to keep this research a secret? Well, money. We decided to keep our activities discreet so as not to slow down research due to bureaucracy or interference from outside parties. Julian was quite keen to be tested first once we knew the treatment was safe. Then I myself was the second and that's how far it went. With the help of the treatment, we managed to stop my cells aging at the age of 49. Though in reality, my chronological age is 75. Both Julian and I knew with the budget we had, only a few people could have the treatment if we wanted it to last as long as possible. So we decided not to offer it to anyone else until further notice. The treatment and drugs are quite expensive, mostly at the start where you have to inject the dosage twice a day. Then after around a year, the dosage can take the form of this tablet which you can take once a day. So why now, after 26 years, have you decided to come out to the public with this? The treatment is expensive, and we only have enough funding for two more years. But aren't you a billionaire? I was. Now, well, I'm only a millionaire. And so it won't be viable to continue without outside investment, which is partly the reason I've commissioned this documentary, to show the wider world what is possible with our achievement and to encourage new investment. And Amy, what are your opinions on all this? I mean, I love Julian and I want him to be happy, but you know, maybe if we get more funding, then I'll get the treatment myself. You know, I want to be 25 forever. Are there any side effects to the treatment? Most drugs have side effects. This drug is no different. The drug has a small chance of affecting the offspring of any users, but due to the small sample size, we don't know yet for sure. But my view is yes, the signs are offspring can be at risk because we saw it in the mice. Julian disagrees. I had my children way before I started the treatment, but with Julian, well, he had his son before the treatment, but his daughter was born after he started it. 
we don't have any reliable evidence that my taking the drug affected Olivia. But she was born with a heart condition that meant it was touch and go there at the beginning. But fortunately, we were able to hire some of the best doctors to help her. Unfortunately, the long lasting effect is she has a compromised immune system. And so she tends to get sick a little more than usual. Um, yeah, I get sick all the time. It sucks, but at least I'm still alive. Do you blame your father? No. Like, he didn't know how I was going to be born. And like, I have other problems too. Um, insomnia, asthma, like menstrual issues. But like, he didn't know that would happen. So I, I don't know, I guess there's other things I blame him for. Such as? Well, um, since he and my mum split up, it's kind of weird how in the last 15 years, he hasn't dated a girl over the age of 25. Um, the girl that he's currently with at the moment, Amy, well, she used to be one of my best friends. And so, yeah, if I blame him for anything, it's for choosing to be with her. I get that Olivia is annoyed at me. You know, I get that she's annoyed at us, but I fell in love with Julian. You know, he understands me. And to me, he's not 59, he's 33. I mean, look at him. But chronologically and mentally, he's 59, right? Sorry, can we not put this in the documentary? <sighs> Just suddenly. He didn't find me attractive. He was around 44 chronologically and I was 38. And he just left me. This 22 year old surfer model named Delilah. And of course, eventually he started looking much younger than me. And no one, apart from the doctors who worked on it uh, and some of the Phillips and Murphy family knew about the biotechnology. We all signed NDAs, so he got away with it. And after about a year, he just asked me for a divorce. <laughs> Since then, he's had like eight different girlfriends, all in their 20s. And every time they get too old, he just gets a younger one. Now, Julian doesn't know that yourself and the children have come forward for these interviews. We are effectively filming these in secret. How do you think he will feel when he sees the interviews in part two? Well, the public should know both sides. So, fuck it. I'm William. I'm Julian's son. I'm 34. So, in a sense, you're older than your own father? Yeah, I suppose. Well, physically, at least. And to think about it, probably mentally. Do you have any issues with your father's activities or their effect on you? Yeah. I mean, I was lucky health-wise because I was born before, but my sister is sick a lot. And all because he wanted to cheat death and keep young or whatever. But in keeping himself young, in a way, he robbed my sister of her youth. So yeah, that I have an issue with. Oh, and the fact that he's currently dating my ex, Amy. Those fuckers. So part one of the documentary came out yesterday. How are you feeling since? I'm absolutely fired up. You know, it's just good getting it out there. We've had some interest in investing already, but still, early days. And you, Amy? I mean, I've had some abuse on social media, and I saw some stuff on TV earlier. But that man, Julian, he's old enough to be her dad. It, it made me sick. It's just to the rich helping themselves, isn't it? Whether they all want to stay young and healthy while we grow old and die? I want to tell you what they should do. They should share the technology with everyone. And will you be watching part two of the documentary tonight? Well, I mean, of course. So, once you get the funding you're looking for, is the plan to release the drug commercially? Yeah, we're going to roll it out globally around the world. This is revolutionary. You, you, you can see what it does. I mean, obviously. 
we want this to be accessible to every person on the planet. For a price? Of course. But that's not, I mean, that's, that's not important. What's important is the revolutionary nature of what this can do. Do you not feel an obligation to open it up well, to the scientific Peter. community? Hmm? That fucking pedo from the news, Peter Pan. Oh yeah, Pedo Pan. Hey, your gal is fit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mind your language, we're filming here. What? Yeah, it's just that pedo. Hey, pedo pan. Pedo. That's what inappropriate. What are you saying? Wait. Yeah, walk away. Let's go this way, okay? It's been nearly four months since the large-scale theft of the miracle de-aging drug from the building behind me. Police reports are now circulating that the group responsible have sold most of the stock on the black market to a buyer who plans to redistribute it into the public for a premium price. Police have set up a special task force to apprehend anyone using the drug and warn against its unregulated use. In related news, Julian Murphy, the so-called Patient Zero, and Maximilian Phillips, his doctor, are still thought to be in hiding. We're right on top of it now. I don't, I don't know what to say. It could be anywhere by now. Is, is that him? Julian? Julian! Slow down, mate. Hurry up! Julian! Julian, it's me, Daniel. Daniel, you piece of shit. You fucking fuck. You got the documentary. How the fuck did you get that? It was, it was Amy. Oh, what? Amy told your daughter you were making a documentary. Okay. Apparently she was gloating about the public taking her side and their disagreement about you. We filmed their interviews a few days after yours. But why? I commissioned you, not them. The second part of the documentary had hardly anything to do with me and Amy. It was all about my ex-wife and the kids. That's not why I hired you. You commissioned the channel, Julian. When they came forward, we decided to make a two-part to the first one about you and the treatment, and then the people around you. <laughs> I'm a journalist, Julian. Okay, I was just doing my job. I didn't think the public would turn on you and Amy that badly. You idiot! It's not just about me and Amy. You don't realize the ramifications of what you've done. It's all out on the street! <laughs> <sighs> I've lost everything. What do you mean? Since the raid on the factory, I've only got weeks of the treatment left. They took almost everything. Of our gangs, police helped my house since Phillips went missing. He's probably dead in a ditch somewhere. And Amy, Amy, she left me for some footballer plays in League fucking too. Not even in the Premier League. I should never have hired you to make the documentary. I'm sorry, mate. Just, just cut the camera, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna go, man. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But Phillips, he's not missing. He's not dead. They took him. I don't know where, but they're not done. I hear they're gonna get money from the underworld and develop the drug further. Soon. <laughs> Soon everyone's gonna be like me. <laughs> Daniel, you fool! We could have controlled it, but you fucked me. And you don't realize yet. You fucked yourself and you fucked everyone else. 
An ageless society. Thank you.